Bull Sessions in the Bing Lounge with the new 98.7 The Bull. Uh, welcome to Portland. First time here? Yeah. Wow. So where, where did you spend most of your time growing up? Just obviously... Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah that's a stupid question. <laughs> um, but no such thing as a stupid no, question. Only stupid thing. people, and I'm one of them occasionally. So... No well, welcome to our town. You definitely you. picked a, a great week. Um, this kind of weather never happens in October. I know. I got October. to walk out and shop and hang out in the little city today. Yeah. Where did you uh, spend your time this afternoon? Uh, Nordstrom's. Nord <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was right across the street. So when you pull up and there's a Nordstrom's there, it kind of calls you over there. So a lot of artists, you know, they, they come out and they decide, oh, I want to be a musician. They don't grow up, you know, in the music business. How do you think that gives you an advantage over someone else that's getting started? Um, I think I just have a, a better understanding of what I'm in for. A lot of a lot of new artists um, come in and they think it's all glitz and glamour and um, it's all fun and, and they don't realize how much hard work actually goes into it from not only you but your team and and the people around you and um, so I think that I have I think that I mean I just I just know that. Um, I'm in for it, and I, I really had to think long and hard if, if this was the industry, and it was um, obviously a no-brainer that this was what I was going to do, but um, I was prepared really well. My, my dad took the opportunity to um, make sure I had the tools I needed to survive in this industry and, and, um, and made me go to college so that I had a chance to grow up before I kind of put myself out there, so... Your dad, of course, you know, really shy and sugarcoat stuff. Uh, when oh, it come, yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you know. What, uh, do you get a lot of feedback from him, you know, when you're, uh, you know, we're, we're streaming this live, uh, obviously, all over so be nice the World Wide Webs him, but... and the internets. So, uh, you know, do you think you'll get a text from him like, hey, you know, this was great. Try doing this differently. Is he very open with the constructive coaching? Oh, no. Um, his, you know, as far as um, performing and, and just being an artist, he's very... Um, He's very like, do your thing, go do what you want to do. The very first time I went on stage with him, um, as a you know, with with Mockingbird, I um, I think I was 18, and he literally just kind of slapped me on the butt and was like, go give him hell. And I was like, oh, I mean, that just meant you know, give it everything you've got. Don't be shy. Don't hold back. Just leave it out there. So he's he's not real um, critical in that, um, but he's a great mentor when it comes to being in the studio and. Um, a songwriting mentor, you know, obviously he's an incredible songwriter and I couldn't ask for a better mentor as a producer, songwriter, um, singer, dad. Uh, he's pretty, he's a pretty well-rounded mentor to have. We, uh, we talked backstage a little bit, uh, that, you know, obviously you're married. Uh, what was it like for your husband the first time meeting your father? I, <laughs> I've answered this question, um, already once today and, and I always say, if you're asking that question, you have not met my mother. <laughs> And she's watching, so she's gonna love that. <laughs> um, no, she's she's definitely um, she's five three, but she feels about twelve foot tall to my husband because she um, never holds back on her thoughts. But my dad was really um, he he kind of would just like walk through the room. He'd just be like, okay. and just I mean, it, it was never there, he would never say anything. He never called. Um, a boyfriend by his real name. It was always like a variation of that name. Just like, just so you know, I don't, I don't care to know you that well. And um, like, you're not going to be around long enough for me to actually <laughs> learn your name. Um, my husband, on the other hand, came in and within like a month, they um, were talking sports and hanging out. And I was like, this is, I literally went to my mom and was like, is dad sick? What is he doing? <laughs> and, um, and she was like, I have no idea. They just, they, they say that if you have a great relationship with your dad, you'll find and marry a man that has the, you know, qualities that you appreciate in your dad. And I couldn't have gotten closer. It's creepy, um, how much their personalities are like. What's your, uh, what's your favorite guilty pleasure? Well, my grandmother watched Days of Our Lives when I was growing up, and it was like every time we had dinner, it was like the VHS was in, and that was like our dinner television, and so occasionally quality, I like to spend a Saturday TV. catching up on some Days of Our Lives. <laughs> you can catch up in 20 years, like in one episode. Yep, yep. The flashbacks yeah. and the memory loss. Yeah. No yeah. Kardashians for me. I'm all about Salem. If you've ever been unemployed, you've watched a soap opera or two in your day. Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, we, uh, one more thing, and I do this with everyone that comes in here, so uh, I hope you're ready to be caught by surprise. Just feel oh. free just to answer honestly. Uh, if you could fill in the blank. Do you mind finishing this sentence? I mean, sure. I wish I was a guy because. Oh. 
oh, I could have a beer belly. <laughs> Guys totally get beer bellies. We're like, I literally am like, oh no, I'm, I'm not gonna drink beer. I, I started drinking whiskey because I was like, beer bloats you, this is stupid. And guys don't care, so I'm a whiskey girl because I don't want a beer belly. All right, all right, I love that, love that. So you've got a single we're playing on the bull right now called Get Your Redneck On. I'll let you uh, talk about the song, introduce it. Uh, one more time here, Bull Sessions at the Big Lounge for Crystal Keith. Thank you.